Hello, hello. How we get how we doing? Can you guys hear me okay? Excellent. Cool. So this is a new thing that we're doing and today is the first one. So and I did not um I did not market this. I just literally put it in the calendar inside of the free community and I'm working on the presentation as we speak. So I'm just going to be candid with you, uh, going to be real with you, and just share with you what these are going to be. So the first few are going to be a little different, um, just in the sake of you know creating something new and, and being able to give you something each and every day. Uh, instead of going live on TikTok all the time or going live inside of some other platform, I thought I would use those platforms to get people's attention and bring them here using my message to build up a live uh, interaction that we could have where it's more focused and we can actually work on something together and get something that's real. And so today I wanted to uh, talk to you about, um, you know, turning uh, basically your passion into profit and uncovering your message. And so what we're going to do is I've got a presentation put together for you. And in this presentation, I'm going to be sharing just some slides and talking to you about uh, what I have going on uh, and, you know, sharing just each and every week in incorporating a message for you that can help you figure out how to take your passion, what it is that you love doing, what it is that you love talking about, and actually turning that into uh, something that can make you money online. And let me get this turned over here. Uh, let me know if you can see my my uh, my screen here. Okay, so again, this is going to be recorded, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting each of the recordings of these into the um, you know, into the into make once. Okay, and so uh, I just I really want to be clean and clear with you. I want to make sure that you leave here with an understanding of what's going on. And I want to make something that actually is going to help you. I noticed um, out there that there is a lot of um, you know confusion. Uh, there's a lot of not knowing, you know, what's going on. And then I, you know, when we get on to platforms like TikTok or YouTube, although they're all great, uh, I really wanted to um I wanted to get something that was more concentrated and that had a lot more oomph to it so that you could actually figure this stuff out, actually learn this stuff and know how to use it in your everyday life to generate money online, doing what it is that you love uh, within school. So there are a lot of things that uh, are going to be changing and I just want to help you with this. I'm going to talk to you for about a half an hour here and then I'm going to open up for questions at the end. And this whole entire presentation is focused on just getting your message dialed in. And I just want to share with you a little bit uh, of what this looks like. So again, this these first couple um, presentations that I'm going to be doing, they're going to be uh, a little bit a little bit different just because we're, um, we're going to be learning this together. It's a brand new process. I don't know of anybody else that's doing this. So uh, that's why the process is going to be a little bit different. But I just want to share with you kind of the vision of what these uh, workshops are going to do each and every week. So let me get you uh, a, a little brief on that, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into the Make Once community real quick, and I just want to give you an idea of what's going to be happening each and every day in the free community. So again, this is my free community, not my paid community. So if we jump over here, can you guys see the Make Once free community? Okay, can you guys see this okay? Just let me know down in the chat. Uh, if you guys can see this, just give me some kind of, you know, thumbs up or something of that nature uh, so I can tell that you can see this or you can just say yes. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is inside of the classroom, you'll see the new classroom. So what what's currently in there is the pocket coaching, the weekly workshop method, this hooks thing, the monetize, uh, and then my TikTok replays. These things are going to be integrated in a different way or possibly just like kind of going away. Uh, it, but it's going to be in, for a good reason and better, right? So the new classroom that's coming for Make Once is going to have a start here section, which is going to show you how to use the classroom 
It's going to show you how to use the community and how to use the calendar and the leaderboards. Then on Mondays, we're going to have a live workshop each Monday at 10 a.m. Central Time, just like we're doing right now, that is going to be all about finding your message, figuring out that message that you're going to bring to the marketplace that's going to describe what it is that you're doing, what you're talking about, uh, your message to the world, your text message to the world about how you're going to help them and find your purpose, which we will get into a little bit of that today. And you're going to leave today knowing a lot about what we can do there with your message to start finding it and figuring it out. I know it's a big problem out there. Would you guys agree? <laughs> um, then on Tuesday, we're going to talk about how to create content, right? And then on Wednesday, we're going to talk about your machine. So when I talk about, say, when I say the word machine, this is the thing that is going to turn people from viewers into paying members. This is your sales uh, process. This is your converting people from, you know, just uh, free members in your community to paying members. This is the machine that operates inside of your business that makes you money each and every day. We're going to talk about how to create offers on Thursday, both free offers and paid offers. We're going to talk about on Friday how to do actual marketing, how to educate the marketplace about what it is that you do. And then inside of the free community, we're also going to have a section that has assets, resources, and links. And there are going to be these new micro courses that I'm bringing in that are going to be monetized. This first one here is monetizing your school community. These are going to unlock as you move through the leaderboard. And I'll be discussing with you what that's all going to be about as well. As I said, this journey uh, is going to be unfolding in front of you. But you'll also see then on the calendar each and every day, just kind of like you've seen here today, uh, you'll be able to join and register for these uh, daily workshops. So instead of going live on TikTok or YouTube or anything like that, I'm going to be creating content on those platforms. And I'm going to be letting people know that they can join this free community and then they can join me for these daily live workshops that are going to be an hour long. 30 minutes in the beginning is going to be teaching you a single topic about that particular area that we're focused on, whether it's message, content, market, machine, whatever. And then in the latter part of that, the last 30 minutes of it, we open up for questions and things of that nature. Then those recordings will end up right here inside of these classrooms. You'll come in here and you'll be able to see the replays. And then, as I said, there'll be some micro courses that you can unlock. And then for some people, they'll want to join the pro community to get more help. Uh, and inside of there, we've got the model, the offer, the message, machine traffic. I've got a track, convert, and deliver workshops happening each week inside of there. We've got our live pro sessions, learn from leaders, and assets over there, as, along with, with Build Lab and things of, like that. So that's $149 a month to join that. You can cancel at any time, but you get access to a lot of great calls like this. Uh, you get access to a classroom that gives you actual information that shows you how to turn your passion into profit. Uh, and then, you know, you can see some testimonials here of people making money inside of there. So that's what's going on. And this is going to briefly unfold in front of you throughout this week and the following week until we've got it pretty much mastered. So we're going to be doing this together. Um, is everybody kind of clear on that so far? I know, again, I didn't market this. I don't expect anybody to actually be here at this moment. Uh, but I just, <laughs> I'm glad that you are here and welcome. Um, but this is just a work in progress and this is going to be unfolding. And I just feel like I can deliver more value to you, uh, in these, in these focused, uh, arenas. So again, in the beginning here, we're not going to be opening up for questions. If you do have questions, you can throw them in the chat. Or you can just write them down and I'll ask you at the end and we can talk about these things. So I want to get into this presentation. Again, this is recorded. Um, I will be using this. Uh, some of these things inside of this workshop I might be using for content uh, on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram or uh, LinkedIn or wherever I decide to put it uh, and inside of the free community. So just understand that and uh, that's that's what this is, Okay. So very good. Let's jump into this presentation. I hope you watch this also with the understanding that what I'm doing is something that you can do as well. Okay. I've made a lot of money doing this. Uh, I have a free time throughout my day. I've got a schedule. I can do what I want to do. I love this business because of that. I can do what I love to do. I can make as much money as I want. I can create my life around my business instead of my business around my life. Right. It's like, 
I can, I can do what I want to do when I want to do it the way I want to do it. And that's what I love about this. And I think it's what most of you probably love about this as well. So um, you don't have to be special to do this. You just have to care and you just have to be yourself and you just need to go out there and get on, on with it. Right. But worrying about everything that could or couldn't happen and just start being who you are and helping people the way you want to help them and show up out there. Nobody's going to find you if you're hiding in the dark, wondering what could happen. They're only going to find you if you're out there trying to make it happen. So you're going to mess up. I mess up every single day. I'm going to mess up a lot today. I don't really care. All I do care about is you and making sure that you understand how to turn your passion and the thing that you love into actual money so that you can make money doing what you love, when you want to do it, where you want to do it. And because of the internet and the cool tools that we have today, uh, that can happen quite easily. So, uh, and I say easy, right? In the simple sense that you can do this and it's nothing more than you sharing and showing up and taking care of people the way that you can take care of them and learning along as you do it so that you can get better and help more people. And if you do that and you just be real, you're going to have so much more success than trying to be something else or someone else or trying to fit into some pocket or mold or something like that. Okay. So let's dive in. Let's make this happen. Um, again, this is a, I didn't even get a chance to finish this presentation all the way. So next week it'll be better. Cause like I said, every Monday, these workshops keep happening every Monday. We're going to be refining this message, refining this uh, presentation and making it better and better. Okay. So again, today is about messaging and that's what we're going to talk about. So if I get questions that are not messaging, uh, we're just going to keep those for the day that we do talk about those things. Cause I want people to come here knowing that they can actually uh, do this. Okay. So I want you to not only just watch what we're talking about in the sense of like what you're going to be learning in this particular segment, but also watch what I'm actually doing with you. This is the thing that I'm doing to actually turn my free community, my members inside of my free community. You know, some people call it a list. Some people call it prospects. Some people call it leads. I think of you as members of a community of that we're building. And I want to help you as much as I possibly can. And if you want even more help, I have a paid community for my premium members where it's, a, it's my Make Once Pro. So you would have something similar, right? And what I want to show you is how to turn your passion into profit. That's what I care about, helping you turn what you love into money so that you can go through this life with money, doing what you love, all right? And you have the time to do it and you can enjoy life, okay, as much as possible. So how do we figure out our message? So you can see here, I've just got a simple slide deck and I've got, my notes are down here. I don't care if you see my notes uh, at all. I want you to know that, I'm just being real with you and I'm here to help you, okay? If you um, don't like this, you don't have to be here. Uh, if you do like this, I'm really glad and I'm and I'm happy for you. And I'm glad that you could be here to, to do this, okay? So basically what we're gonna be doing is um, we're gonna be learning about how to take our message and actually get it out there. Now, one thing that you have to understand is your message is something that gets figured out when you're doing it. Just like riding a bike. You, you're never going to figure out how to ride a bike unless you start right. You can only read about riding a bike for so long. You can only write down your message so much and, and think of so many different iterations before then you have to go out and actually do it. You have to go out and actually speak it. You have to start practicing. You got to mess it up. You got to look like a fool. You got to look like an idiot. You got to look stupid. Okay. Nobody's going to think that of you, but that's how you think of it. So don't worry about that, okay? What's the worst that's going to happen? Nobody actually really cares anyway, right? Everybody cares about their own little thing and what they're doing. It's usually the biggest problem people have with figuring out their message is they care more about what they, people think of them than what they can actually do to help people. And so this is the thing that you've got to try to overcome within yourself is worrying about what other people think. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They're busy caring about themselves, okay? They're busy trying to figure things out. Okay, that's it. And the sooner you understand that, the happier you're going to be because you're going to be able to let go and have fun and enjoy yourself and just open up and speak about what it is that you like. And people that like that will hear it and they will come along uh, for the journey. Okay, so 
you're going to learn how to uncover this message. And, you know, the, the one thing is just think about like, why do some things thrive and other things don't, right? Like, why is it that when some people go out and do something, they could be talking about something that people have talked about for a thousand years. And for some reason they can go out and talk about it. But when somebody else talks about it, it just doesn't work. Right. Why is that? You know, what, what makes that happen? And when you, when you understand that everything that's already uh, been talked about or that you want to figure out or that you want to teach or that you want to talk about, somebody's already done it. Somebody's already figured this stuff out. Somebody's already out there earning from it. Somebody's out there building massive community from it. Somebody's out there just achieving the greatest success that you could ever imagine already with something that you want to talk about. So what does that mean? Does that mean that you can't do it? Does that mean that you, you can't talk about it? No. You can talk about it and make it new again. I'm talking to you about something right now that has been talked about for millennia, like forever. Somebody's been talking about how to speak, how to get your message out, how to show up, but I'm bringing it to you in my way, from my perspective, in a new uh, way. Like, I don't know if anybody's ever sh shared it the way I've shared it. And therefore, anybody that wants to learn their message, they can come here and learn their message. And they can find a different perspective, that one that fits their modality, their way of doing. And that's what you have to remember. Just because somebody else is doing it doesn't mean you can't do it. And just because somebody else is doing it doesn't mean that's how you have to do it. You need to speak your truth. You need to share it the way you understand it. And this is what's so important, right? This is the thing that really makes it amazing. I mean, think of all the personal development stuff out there. Think of all the stuff about how to do art. Think about all the things about how to be in business. And yet... Some people you can't stand to listen to, but other people you can't stand not listening to them. This is where you start understanding that it's not about how to frame the message perfectly. It's about finding that thing inside of you that you can release out and be excited about and not care if you mess up because you're speaking your truth. You're speaking your thing. And that connection is what's going to bring people to you and that's what's going to turn into currency for you because people are going to go, whoa, I really like her. She's great. I connect with her and she can unlock and help me with this because I heard one day driving home from work this thing that I got excited about. And there's actually somebody out there like me that I resonate with that is going to help me because they've figured it out more than I have. And this is where your message starts to open, right? So. It's pretty cool. And finding your voice in the crowd, it can seem like, okay, well, how do you do that? Like everybody's doing this already, it seems. And it doesn't matter because this whole premise behind this is making money with our passion. And if we're going to make money with our passion, we're going to have to be out there talking about it, sharing our message so that people know they can come to us for the help. And when you do this and you think, well, everybody's, you know, how am I going to show up in this crowd? How am I going to, you know, speak out and be out where everybody's talking about this? If you had a thousand people giving you $50 a month, that's a lot of money. That's 50 grand a month. It's a digital platform. You're going to retain like 90% profits, if not more, right? So that's a lot of money. In any society, any place on this planet, anywhere you go, if you were making $50,000 per month, monthly recurring revenue, you would be in the top echelon and tier of any society that you're amongst. I don't even care if you were hanging out with millionaires. Making that kind of money, you could sit right beside them. They'll just have a nicer car probably or something, right? But who gives a crap? The thing I'm trying to tell you is this. That's extremely attainable. Think about it. A thousand people out of eight billion on the planet, four point something billion have access to the internet now. 
You need a thousand people giving you 50 bucks a month and you can sit amongst anyone in the world and you can do what you want and be where you want to be. And that's just a thousand. And that's just 50 bucks. What if they were giving you a hundred? Now you're a millionaire. So think about this in a simple way. You're not trying to attract everybody in the crowd. You're trying to speak your message so that the crowd can hear you and the people that want more of you can connect with your message and come closer to you and closer to you and closer to you. Think about you and me right now. How did you find me? Was it because I was worried about what people think of me and what I'm saying? Was it because... I was worried about, oh, am I an expert enough? Am I going to say the right thing? What if they don't like me? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what you think of me. <laughs> I care about you. You don't have to care about me. But if I care about you and I help you, it'll just, it just, that's just the way this works. It's a very power, it's a very neat setup right? You, you don't have to care about me. But what if I care about you so much that I do everything I can each day to help you unlock how to turn your passion into profit? And you actually do. What happens now? You see, if you flip the script, it doesn't really matter. If somebody were to come on here or somebody were to see this later on YouTube or whatever, and they're like, this guy's an idiot. How stupid is he? Oh my gosh. And they go down in the comments, they're like, what a moron. Like, what a douche. What a blah, blah, blah. Like all this stuff, right? All I would think in my head is, thank you for the engagement so that my video gets out there further. The algorithm appreciates it along with myself. Number two you look kind of like an asshole, like talking shit on somebody when they're trying to just help you, you know, like this guy's out here trying to help you figure things out and you're down here talking smack. Yeah. You look pretty cool. Right. <laughs> and then the thing for me is I'm just thinking, well, good. My message must've mattered. It must've got heard. I got somebody to feel something from this and hopefully they, start thinking a little different afterwards, maybe in a way that they can actually uh, start growing and helping people as well, right? And and I, then I think about it, I'm like, if somebody's like talking trash on my message or me, that has nothing to do with me. That has just all to do with what they think. And then I'm like, wait a minute, you're upset with me or talking trash or trying to downplay me or whatever, and I'm out here trying to improve my life. I'm trying to help other people. I'm trying to not just watch life pass me by, but instead try to plug in and, and you know have some sort of production where me being on the planet did help somebody else's life get a little bit better. And I'm trying and I'm not talking smack. So I say those things because a lot of you are afraid to share your message because somebody might think some way of you. Listen, you're going to get haters. You're going to get the people that are immature, that have not developed enough mentally and physically and everything. And they're going through these different experiences that they don't even realize they're going through and these emotions and these human things and all of this is happening but it has nothing to do with you because it's not about you it's about who you're trying to help that's how your message gets found in the crowd because everyone else is worried about what people think of them while you're worried about what you can do for them that alone is going to single you out of everyone in the crowd how many people do you know right now that actually think each and every day deeply about how they can help other people more than them thinking about what, what, what about me? What about me? What about me? You probably can't even think of anybody. So think about it. Just you sharing and caring and being out there is going to change so many people's perspectives and let them talk. 
that just helps you. Have fun with it. Who cares? I don't care what anybody thinks about what I'm doing. I don't. Why should you? Why should you care? Think about it. Write it down. Why should I care? <laughs> what difference does it make? Okay? So you're going to be on this journey, and you're going to be getting clarity. You're going to be coming into connection. You're watching me do it. You're watching me shift gears. You're watching me change. I'm on a journey too. I'm getting more clarity. I'm getting more connection. The more I speak with you, the reason I'm doing these workshops is not just, you know, as a money-making thing. It helps me get clear. It helps me speak to you. It helps me open up, you know, what I am and who I am. And at the end, the reason why I wanted to open up for questions is because that's how I'm going to learn about you. If I can't learn about you, my message will never have the impact because it's about you. I'm trying to help you. But if I don't speak to you and ask you what you need help with, how can I help you? If I'm only worried about like me, 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 I completely destroy the whole thing. The only reason a business exists is to help somebody get from point A to point B, and they're stuck. They don't know how to do that. So a business comes together and says, let's help those people do that. That's a business. A business isn't something you think of in the shower. Go out to the market and tell everybody about and hope that they come along with you. A business, and this isn't my idea. This is the way it is. A business is somebody or something or this this energy, this thing that was listening and, and heard a bunch of people struggling with something and said, you know what? I want to help those people with that. I'm passionate about that. I'm excited about that. And then they go out there and they figure out systems and methods and frameworks and ways to get those people like through that problem, over that jump, you know, over that gap faster, easier, and while having more fun. All these things, right? And one person can't help everybody. So we need lots of you. We need you out there speaking about this. Right? And but but you'll never, ever, ever figure it out if you're not out there speaking about it. Because it takes a while to articulate this thing that you're saying. It it takes a while to figure out what, like how to get it all out of your head. You know it's in there. You just don't know how to really get it out. And you got to be willing, just like when you're growing your hair out or something, there's stages where it looks kind of silly. But if you can work through that, then you can get to that other place. Or like when you're trying to get in shape, there's places during that journey where you're kind of flabby. You're not fit, but you're not fat. You're Like there's all these little things. You know, when you're trying to figure out how to put your makeup on. There's days you look kind of like a circus animal or something. And then other days you're like, wow, she's starting to figure this out. Like I've watched our own daughter, like figure it out. Like, you know, the makeup journey like with guys, you know, trying to figure out how to put, you know, the clothes on that match and shit, you know, it's like, so, you know, it's, everything's got a journey and you just got to like, you got to know that you got there. There's a journey here too. And if you're willing to like, think about the other person and not yourself, it's great. Like if I sit here tripping about my hair or tripping about way I look or all this stuff, it's kind of stupid. It just stops me. Instead, I'm just like, eh, whatever me. I'm this little antenna that's trying to help people with this thing that I really like talking about. So I want you to know there's a journey you're going to go through. And that's the magnet, right? When you start speaking this message out there and you start worrying about them and how you can help them and you're talking about all the different things that could help them, this is what brings opportunity. This is what brings the you know audience to you. This is what success starts showing up and you're like, wow, this is weird. I'm out here just like having fun because I'm talking about things I love and other people that love that stuff or are connected with it or having problems with it, they're like hanging out with me. Like you are hanging out with me right now, right? I didn't tell you to be here. I just put it out there and you showed up. How awesome is that? And you know what? Some people are like, 
Well, what if nobody shows up? What if there's only a few people? I don't know. I've got, what, four people here? I don't care if there's four million people here. Same thing. Because I'm doing this for you. And I only need you. Isn't that neat? And when I say you, you know that I'm talking to you. And yet there's more people here. Isn't that interesting? So why worry about all of that stuff? Again, worrying about that stuff is like trying to say, well, nobody cares to show up. Nobody cares about me. Well, I didn't know you were doing this for you. I thought you were doing this because you were excited about helping people. You see what I'm saying? So you, you can't worry about this. You can't. It doesn't make sense. So there's this thing I'm calling the map system. You know, it's like a map, like you're on a journey. And it's like your message, your audience, and your purpose. Right? It's what it seems like. It's like you have this message. There's this audience out there, and there's some sort of purpose for it. Okay? So we're going to be talking about this, and I'm going to be sharing with you like how to use this towards the end. Only it's not going to happen today because I didn't finish all my slides. So we're going to make it through my slides. And then next Monday, we'll hopefully get further, right? And we'll work through this again. And you can watch my journey of, of my message and you can learn from it. Okay. Or you can stop watching. It's up to you. Okay. This is completely up to you. All right. So the, the map, the map system, just think about message, audience, purpose. Okay. Message, audience, purpose. So what's the heart of your passion? Like, why are you wanting to do something? Why are you wanting to do something in this particular area? What is it? I love business so much just because partly I grew up around business people. My grandpa was a farmer. My grandma owned a kitchen store business. My mom owned a flower business. My uncle owned a construction business, and they hung out with other people that had businesses, and I was just around business all the time. And it was like, why would I go to college when I can just find something that I really love that people get help from, and I can just do that, and, and I can set my own schedule, I can make as much money as I want, I can talk to who I want, when I want, and that just always made a lot of sense to me. So I never had this idea of like wanting to go to college. Number one, I wasn't big into school. I, I enjoyed school because of the social aspect and sports and stuff like that. But as far as like, and I liked learning some of the stuff, like it was, you know, but it wasn't like, I was like, I can't wait to keep doing this for more and more years. It was like, can I, can I just, can I go out? I don't want to be here at eight o'clock in the morning and eat it when you tell me like, you know, I just had that little bug in me and whatever that is, good, bad, indifferent. Our son is so damn smart. Like He's doing shit in college. I can't even, it just blows my mind. It's fascinating to me how amazing, you know, I can't do it. This isn't about school, education, nothing. What it's about is what, what do you want to do? And what, what do you, what's in you that's got you here? Like, why are you here? Why are you wanting to learn this? Why do you want to get your message figured out? And it's okay if it's just about money. You need money right? <laughs> you know, you're watching me on a device you paid for on a connection you're paying for. Like, I get it. Like, you got to have money, right? And I'm like, well, if you got to have money, I might as well do something that's like awesome to get the money. At, at least that I love talking about. I don't want to like, the whole reason I don't want to get a job is because I'd have to do some shit I don't want to do. For somebody that I that doesn't really care about me they just need help from me so they paint it's like you know and and listen there's great relationships out there but i mean think about like what is it that you're do you just love camping so much you just love making videos so much you love talking about business and entrepreneurship the exchange everything you love art you love you know music you love talking about chakras and and energy and passion and you know writing or, or advertising or whatever it is like why? What happened? Why did this become something? Write that down. Think about it. Why, why are you into this? I know why I'm into this. I just told you. 
I don't like somebody telling me what to do. <laughs> I, I don't. G call me whatever you want. I don't give a shit. I don't want somebody, hey, hey, you got to wear this. You got to be here. I'm going to pay this much. Like, I can't do that. All right? I can't do that. Um, I didn't want to go to college, but I wanted a lot of money. I like nice things. I want to go see the world. I don't want to be a bum. <laughs> I don't want to be broke. I don't want to wear shitty clothes. I don't want to wear like, I want nice, I want cool stuff. It costs money. How do I get the money? I'm not going to college. You know, how am I going to get it? So I had to figure it out and I loved it. And I know there's a lot of people like me that want to do it too. So I was like, well, shit, this is good. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll do all the hard learning and figuring out and falling down and scraping my knee and bumping my head. And then I'll be like, well, don't do this. Don't do that. I'll come back and I'll tell you how to do it. I'll teach you how to fish. I caught a fish. Here's how I did it. Right? Pretty simple. People need help. Right? What is at the heart of your passion? Like, what is it? Why are you doing this? You really just, it's a simple thing. Just let it out. How about press record and let it out? <laughs> Think about it. Well, what if somebody, uh, hold up, hold up. You can, it's not about that. It's about you, okay? If you, if you make it complicated, thinking it's got to be all this weird stuff, the signal doesn't get out there and it doesn't, magnetize people back to you right if this if if people can't understand the signal it's like when you hear a radio and it's like is there's like you're like trying to find a different station because you're like it does it's just like but you know but that's how the message comes out sometimes right but if you start to if you keep saying it it starts to get a more clear you kind of fine-tune that station and pretty soon it's like oh shit it's a good song you'll play that song again hey i wish just Play it again. I used to listen. I remember when you didn't have all the rate, you know, the stuff like music today. You just wait on the radio for that song again. Maybe you'd call in and ask for it, you know, <laughs> like that's the, you want people to do that. But you got to practice that message. You got to take it from like, you know, just throwing mud on the wall to like starting to like, you know, figure this thing out. But it never happens unless you start speaking it and simplifying it down. And it's already simple. You just have to let it out. Why are you doing this? Well, how do I monetize this? How do I make money with this? Th that's why we have like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday workshops. We'll learn about how to monetize it. But today it's like, we got to get that out. Okay. We got to get it out. You got to just be you. Take the mask off. Be a streaker, you know what I mean? With your message, like, let it out. You don't have to hide, you don't have to be anybody else. Even if you're weird, even if you speak wrong, we already have the other person. We need you. There's already an Eckhart Tolle. There's already an Alan Watts. You can get ideas from them. There's already, you know, Tony Robbins. There's already Brennan Burchard and Frank Kern and all these people. There's already all those people. You can get ideas from them. But just, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm not pretty enough. What are you talking about? Can you imagine, like, some animal walking up to another animal out there? Like a cardinal walking up to another cardinal bird be like, dude, bro, your feathers are just jacked, man. Like, whew. Like, that's just, they don't even do that. They're just singing, you know? Just, the, you gotta just, you're pretty to somebody. But hell, if you're if you're too worried about everything all the time, nobody's ever gonna see you. What, what who gives it, what? I mean, you gotta deal with it. You look like you look like, you know? <laughs> like, you, it is what it is. Just be yourself. If you if you've messed up in life, talk about it. You know how many other people messed up? If if something went crazy, talk about it. That's what people want. Do, what do you want? Do you want me to repeat everything that somebody else said? 
I can get ideas from it. But you got to let that shit out. You got to be yourself. That's what's so great. You're this thing that come out, right? You, you popped out screaming, you know, we, we slapped you, cut your umbilical cord. We sent you on your way. Now you're this little thingy out there doing this stuff. And we want to know about you. All of us. But if you're hiding behind this, ooh, like, what the hell are you? Would you like get on with it? You're here. This is you. Share it. You know how powerful it is? Think about it. Why are you worried about what everybody else is doing? I didn't say don't pay attention to it. I just said, don't worry about it. Get ideas. I get ideas from people all the time. That's what's so beautiful. And then I just come over here and I blab it to you, right? And I'm thinking, like, well, how can I? You know, everybody's like, are you myself? Hey, guess what? I'm going to tell you stuff. Here, you can put this in your notes. I'm going to tell you stuff and I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to say things that aren't right. I'm going to talk about stuff that might be incorrect. There you have it. I might change my mind. Have you ever done that? All you got to do is just let them, <laughs> let people know, just like I just did. Are you... None of you left when I said that, right? People understand that you learn and you grow and you go. Matter of fact, if you're not changing your mind and your ideas along the way, I'm probably worried. I'm probably worried more. <laughs> like, is this guy like going to ever, you know, put new tires on his car? You know, like, <laughs> you know? Like nothing stays the same. All right. And if you do, that's a, if you're looking back on your message from a month ago and you're not like, oh, whoo, that boy was on the wrong stuff. That that you should be worried more about that. If you look back and you're like, oh, hell yeah, 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 yeah. That means you have not changed. <laughs> you have not progressed or got any better. Right. I'm willing to try things. This whole experiment with doing a live workshop each day might just explode in my face and break and not work. Now what? Try something else. I just thought it would be more concentrated and fun. Okay? Um, pitfalls to avoid. Don't be vague. Bring all the colors. Bring the whole crayon box. Bring the whole damn thing with you. You don't know what you're going to paint. You don't know what you're going to draw. Who knows? You're, you might need brown or pink or blue or whatever. Who You know? Bring it all. Don't overthink this. Just like I've got some road. I've got some road map down here. This is my little road map. Okay? This is my little. This, this like tease me up a little bit. And then I don't know what's going to happen. Right? But each day I'm like studying this stuff and learning this stuff. And I'm like, well, something will come out. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I know that it's going to be somewhat decent because I'm only sharing from what I know. That's all I can do. You, do you realize that you can only talk about what you know, be like, well, what if I don't know it? Well, you ain't going to talk about it then. <laughs> you know, if somebody asks you and you don't know, you're either going to lie to them, make some shit up or, you just ain't going to have nothing. You're going to be like, I don't know. <laughs> and that's okay. It's okay to say, I don't know. I've been to the damn doctor before. He's like, I don't know. I'm like, well, shit, me neither. What are we going to do? You know? So you don't have to worry about it. If it doesn't come up, then I don't know what you just say. Well, I don't know, but I'll find out. I'll figure it out. It's a good question. Let me write it down. Have a pad of paper with you. Okay. That's why they make this shit. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff with it, right? That's one of the things you can do with it. If you don't have a fo today's focus, the message, I thought, well, shit, I probably ought to open up and kind of explain what's going on here because I've been missing for about 10 days. I haven't posted on, I haven't posted on the internet in 10 days. Look at me. I still feel okay. Look at this shit. I actually feel pretty good. 
I actually feel pretty good. It felt weird. But I thought, hey, why not? You know? It's not a beer. <laughs> okay. So, but, you know, it's, I just, I was like, you know what? I just need to pull the plug a little bit, repaint the car, put some new wheels on it, line her back up on the road, and I'm back. All right? And we're still bumping along here. It's not all there. But I want you to know that it's okay. I still got customers, and you will too. I still had money coming in, you know, which was awesome. I was like, hell yeah. It wasn't as much as I always make, but it was still enough, you know? And I mean, so you don't have to worry about it, okay? Just be where you are and, and keep on moving. The thing is, keep keep coming, right? Keep coming. So the, don't be vague. Show up. Talk about it. Don't overthink this. Just do it, right? What's the worst that's going to happen? You know how many videos I'm going to go on my YouTube channel? You know how many videos I'm going to go like unlist that I spent time creating that I stressed about? They just don't. It doesn't. It's not me no more. You know, I changed. <laughs> yeah. Shocker, right? I'm going to keep changing. Shit's going to get saggier, grayer. I'm probably going to get more senile, you know? <laughs> and then, you know, that's it. Like, I, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. But I'm sure as hell not going to sit along the sidelines and watch it pass me. I'm going to jump in this thing, start paddling, you know? How much can I make? How many people can I help? That's the shit I'm worried about. Like, I'm not tripping. My office is a mess. I got, sh I got, I got sheets pinned on the wall back here. Look, this is, this is a sheet. I was like, I don't know if I want to paint my wall or not. I was like, I want to paint it black. I'm like, ah, why don't I just hang some black sheets from Walmart on the wall first, see if I like it. And I was like, now, now I got to cover this window because it looks all weird. But I was like, you know what? Screw it. It'll be all right. I kind of like it. So I do like the black and I'll go with it. But the point is, is I wasn't like, hmm, hmm, hmm. What are people going to hmm, hmm, hmm. I was like, fuck it. If they don't like having a sheet on the wall. I probably don't like hanging out with them anyway, you know? So hopefully they don't come back, you know? <laughs> and if they go talk shit about me on the, on the internet, I mean, they're the one that looks like an asshole, not me. I was at least trying, you know? I just thought before I paint something, maybe just, you know, pin it on the wall. I even painted the little pins black with a marker, Sharpie, you know? Big time innovations. So, you know, I'm just telling you, it's okay. I didn't overthink it. I just did it, right? I didn't even finish my presentation. Shoot me, you know? Have you ever done something, not get it all done in time? You know? You're going to iterate and improve, okay? You're going to iterate and improve. Your message is going to change. You're going to get better. You're seeing it in living color with me right now. It's happening right now. I'm improving. I think <laughs> I'm iterating, right? Like I think it's, it feels better. It feels more authentic to me. I feel better. And when I feel better, I produce better. I feel like, and I can come out better. Right. And I can help you better. And I'm just focusing on, I'm like simplifying. Right. I'm just simplifying it down. I'm trying to figure this thing out. Just like you, I've just been doing this for 14 years and I've screwed up enough to like find some stuff that works. And so I keep doing the stuff that works and get rid of the stuff that doesn't. And then you got to give it some time, your message. You got to say it a few times and see if people are, you know, I don't even care about the comments. Shit, if anything, it's comical. I'm like, damn, that was pretty good. How the hell? That was, how did you become, how could you figure out how to be so rude so creatively? <laughs> you know, like that's pretty good. You, sh you know, but you can't worry about it. You can't worry about it. You just got to speak it and do it, okay? So iterate, improve. And then who are you speaking to? I know exactly who I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to me about 10 years ago when I was trying to figure this out. I just, when I was trying to do this, all I could ask for and wish for was somebody was as crazy and silly and just as weird as I was, was screwing things up as much as I was. But I was hoping 
that they somehow had some sort of like something for me that got me there faster, got me there easier. And I wanted it to be fun because who doesn't want to have fun? And you don't have to be fun and funny to have fun. It's fun when it, you're just figuring stuff out or if you just connect with somebody. And I thought, I am not going to act like some buttoned up, like I'm just going to be my damn self. And if people don't like that, well, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't know what to say because I'm going to keep doing this. Whether you like it or not, you know, because there is somebody out there that does. There is somebody out there that will learn from this. There is somebody out there that will be like, oh, shit. I was being too hard on myself. You know, I was making this way harder than I thought. Because that's me. I just I think about my past self. I ought to go back and be like, man, would you why are you buying that shirt? That ain't you. Why are you trying to look like that? That ain't you. Why are you talking like that? You don't talk like that. Shit, I was at your house last weekend and you was not talking like that. Now you're talking like this? What the hell? What? Who are you trying to, what are you doing? I mean, try it, but you know. And you just got to lean in. And I'm just thinking like, well, what if I go out there and be myself? What if I go out there and just help people with what I actually know where I'm at? What's going to happen? Well, maybe they don't show back up. Well, what what do I do? Sit around and, you know. So who are you speaking to? Just think about who are you talking to? Are you talking to your past self? That's typically what happens in this business where you became passionate about something. You, you got good at something. You were trying to figure something out. You got good at it. You figured it out a little bit. Enough to get a result consistently. And you 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 got so excited about it, like everybody needs to know this. I remember when I first started like meditating and I first started learning about like the metaphysical world and I started learning about like introspection and business and inner. I was like, everybody's got to know this. Come to find out everybody already knew. I was like, shit, they've been talking about this stuff for 2,000 years here. I thought I was the first one that figured this stuff out. I was like, holy shit, everybody's got to know this. I <laughs> found out everybody already knew it. Like I like started looking, I'm like, shit, and he's really good at this. But I was like, you know what? There's got to be somebody graduating high school right now going, man, I want to start an online business. I want to make money from home, but I don't know how to do any of it. I like this Mike guy, though. You know, he reminds me of myself or somebody or something. He went through something I went through. That's the person I want to help. There's always going to be a person like that. There's always going to be somebody new like that. I want to have a baby. I want to be good at camping. You know, I want to play the flute. Like there's always somebody that's going to say that. Everything you can think of. I want to learn to meditate. I was so damn dumb about it. I was like, I was miserable. Bro broke up with a girlfriend. I was, I was just depressed. I was feeling like shit. And you know what was funny? I had a nice car. I had money in the bank. I was doing this business thing and I felt like shit. I sat in my office, completely miserable, in my chair. And I'm like, all right, hold on a second. I got food. I got water. I got a place to sleep. I got a car. I got some money. What? I'm sitting in my office and I'm just miserable. I'm like, what is happening that I'm just feeling like complete shit right now? And I was like, it's because I'm thinking about these things. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, if I could just stop thinking. And I'm like, how do you stop thinking? And I was like, well, I should Google that. <laughs> So I Google it. <laughs> I can picture the, the, the lighting in the window of this moment. I, I Google into Google how to stop thinking. And this video comes up. And I'm like, man, you done lost it. <laughs> You're asking a computer how to stop thinking. I Google it. This video comes up from Robert Kabat-Zinn. And he was teaching at Google... He's like some meditation, like, you know, guy. He's teaching at Google, the, their creative department, like Google's, you know, creators and all that stuff, how to, how to meditate and clear their mind to open up empty space so that they can think and create new things. And he's in there. And when I get on the video, the first thing that happens, they're like, Ding! and he's like, oh, and I'm like, Jesus, I have done 
I am over here. I have lost it. I am sitting in my office about ready to go ohm and ring some damn bells and shit. So I'm like, you know what? You're miserable anyway. You're crying like a little bitch about your breakup in your office. You're all being a sissy lips about everything. And so I'm like, you might as well try it. <laughs> you know, something's got to fix it. You know, I can't just do a bunch of drugs and knock myself out each night with whiskey. Like I got to figure something out here because this ain't going to work otherwise. So I'm sitting near my office and I'm like, if my freaking, if my business partner, which is my, one of my best friends, as he, if he walks in here right now and sees me doing this shit, he is going to freaking, I'll never hear the end of it. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, bing, and I did it. And like, I got done. He, I followed his process because he was like walking you through this meditation thing. I do it and I'm like, this is fucking awesome. And my whole life switched. Like at that moment, I was like, this actually works. And I was like, no wonder people do this stuff, meditating thing. And so I am being the all or none person that I am. I'm buying fuck singing bowls. I'm buying bells. I got sets of bells. I'm meditating like hours a day. Literally. I'm I'm reading books on it. I'm going through this journey. I'm like figuring out what Jesus is, like all this. It's unreal what I went through. And this went on and on. I started painting pictures. I had I was burning all kinds of shit in my office, you know, like in I I turned into a damn monk basically. And then I started looking like one. And I was like, this is crazy. And then all of a sudden, I was like, well, I can't just fucking meditate all day because that ain't going to pay the bills, <laughs> you know? But it got me through my breakup shit and it got me through these things I was going through. And that's when I started, I, I came back and it taught me something that day. I was like, wow, you actually can just find something online that can completely radically change your life. And so I was like, well, I've got to figure out how to make money. Okay. I can't just be hmm, all day long. Right. And my, you know, my mom's like, are you on drugs? Everybody was like, everybody thought I was on drugs. Right. <laughs> She's like, I went from this like football sports playing, like, Hey, get out of my way, punk to this, like, Oh, you know, ha, like all this shit. Right. And it was like, it was crazy what people were saying and doing and all this stuff, but I didn't care. I just started sharing my message. Pretty soon I ran into like Brennan Burchard. I was like, wait, he's teaching people how to do shit on the internet and making money doing this? And then, of course, Robert Kabat-Zinn, he was selling a book, you know? And I was like, wait a minute. Holy shit. You can make money by teaching people how to fix their problems? Because he fixed mine. And I was like, whoa, what if I did this for other people? I started learning who I was speaking to. That was it. I just share... Like, what actually happened? You're like, what's my message? What happened? What freaking happened in your life that makes you crazy enough to freaking be here right now? Something happened. Why not just share that? Is this making sense? You getting what I'm saying here? So speak their language, right? If I wasn't speaking your language right now, you'd be gone already. I don't think you're crazy enough to be here otherwise. Right now, this one's going to go just about 10 minutes longer because I, I had to open up and kind of get you tuned in with what's going on here. OK, I'm going to open up for questions here. We're going to do about 15, 20 minutes of that. This first one's just going to be a bit longer. OK, if you don't want to be here, you can leave. I love you. Thank you for being here. But I, I just I wanted to, you know, open up a little bit. OK, you got to speak their language. You got to talk about their problem. You got to speak. You got to know them to speak to their problem. You got to figure this stuff out. OK, you got to know them. You can't speak their language if you're not go. If you want to speak Spanish, go to Mexico it, or, or, or Europe or wherever the hell they speak Spanish at. Right. Everywhere. Right. <laughs> but like go there. You want to speak Japanese, go to Japan. If you want to do it and you can't go to Japan because you're broke, <laughs> then you got to like go to Japan online. You know, you got to like hang out in Japan online. You got to hang out with Japan people. You get what I'm saying? If you want to speak to your people, you got to go find your people. Where are they at? They're probably doing the same shit you were doing. You're probably looking at the same things you're looking at. Does that make sense? It's pretty common sense, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. If I want to speak their language, what do you mean speak their language? Well, how, 
if I if I'm resonating with you, it's because you're a lot like me. In some way, shape, or form, you have something that's connecting you and me together. Why else would you be here right now? The same thing going to happen to you. That puzzle piece will click together as soon as you decide to be one of the sides. If you don't, if you don't, if there, if if you don't allow there to be a thing to connect to, there nothing will connect to it. Okay. So you got to create that connection. You got to build that bridge. Build a bridge for them. This is my bridge. Every single day, I thought, well, shit. I'm either going to go live on TikTok, which makes me a, a raging crazy person because it's like too much stuff going on. It's too high. I'm too hyperactive to, to be going live with all this weird shit going on. And then like, I'm not a very good customer service person because like my empathy goes deep. But then I like, I'm like, man, come on now. And then I go into like that A type of me comes out. And that leader like defense mode comes out and I'm just like, listen, man, some people don't play the flute. Tom Brady, he wasn't, he didn't play basketball. He played football. You know, <laughs> he didn't, he wasn't a running back. He was the quarterback. There's reasons for this. And I just realized like, I'm better if I have a focused thing where if somebody's being a jack wagon, I can just boop, bye. And like, I, this is controlled here. Like, if you started acting like a jackass, I would get rid of you. <laughs> you know, like, I'd be like, see ya. You know, the same for you. You know, and I'd, I'd ban you out, block you out, and just be like, that's, I gotta have that kind of environment for me. It just makes me happy. And I can help you better. I feel like I'm more helpful this way. It's more focused. Okay. So when you're engaging, sharing stories, I didn't try to share my life story with you. You're just gonna hear bits and pieces of it as we go along. That's it. Some people work all day long. I'm on my story, how to craft my story. If you start speaking and trying to build a bridge and trying to connect with people, it's going to come out. Little bits and pieces. I didn't know I was going to share that meditating story thing with you, but I'll bet you one little piece of that, if you're still here, I bet a little piece of that connected with you and brought you and me closer. That's something that will happen to you too if you put out, if you start building a bridge. That bridge is built each time you speak. You know what? You can post something on the internet and you can delete it later. <laughs> Just watch my YouTube channel. Go get a glimpse of it. My TikTok channel. Go get a glimpse of it. I'm going to go in there and private things, unlist things, remove things. Why? Because I want to. I don't, I don't like what it says anymore. That's the truth. <laughs> I, I feel like I can do better now, you know? So that's the truth. That's You can do that too. Okay? You got to listen and learn. Listen to them. I listen to you. That's how some of this stuff comes about. You're my people. I listen to my people. And I make things that help my people. I just listen to you. And I learn what you need. I ask you questions. How else would you get it? How else? Together we grow. Right now we're together, you and me. We are together right now learning. This is our community. It gets bigger. It gets better. It grows over time. I don't have a big community. It's big to me. It's bigger than just me. I'm going to work on this until I die. So it'll be fun to see how big it can get. I just want to help as many people as I can before I beat before I bite the dust. You know what I mean? And hopefully I live a long, long time and I have a personal robot friend, you know, that I can dress and make it do stuff that I want it to do. <laughs> I, I can't wait. Literally, I can't wait to have my own little robot. I can make him wear shit. And do stuff. I hope it looks just like I can make it. I can buy different skin for it. Have a black person, a brown person, a pink person. I have whatever color I want, you know, put a hat on them, clothes, boy, girl. Who knows, you know, playing a flute, tell it to play something for me. I don't know. I think it's going to be amazing. Rub my feet, hold the camera, help me sweep. Can you hold the dustpan? <laughs> you know, like I can't wait. I think it's going to be so exciting. I hope I get to see that. But you got to build a community. You, you build deeper connections by connecting with people. 
But you can't do that if you're too worried about what everybody says. Why does what they say matter? Did you call somebody before you put your shirt on today? You know what I mean? Like, my last slide. Oh, I got to Why does your message matter? You know why my ma mine matters? Because there's a lot of people out there that don't want a flipping job. This isn't about jobs or not jobs. This is about a lot of people just don't want to go to work for somebody else. That's okay. You know, back in the day before 401ks and buildings and shit like that, people just had to go find fruits and berries and shit like that and nuts and bolts and everything else. Like, you know? And then all of a sudden, it became this other thing. And like, it's okay. I just know that there's other people like me that are crazy and weird and they want to make a lot of money. They like to have nice things. They want to work from their computer so that they can work anywhere that there's internet because we live in this cool internet world. And there's all this other stuff that they could go do if they had a lot of money and they could make money doing what they love to do, helping people, sleeping good at night, knowing that other people are getting helped because of them. And they want to share that message and, and do that. And they don't want to hurt nobody. They don't want to break any laws. They just want to go skydiving and, and you know, swim with dolphins and ride four wheelers and paint pictures and listen to weird music and dance in their backyard and have money and have a nice car and have a nice house and put on a nice pair of shoes, you know, and feel good about it and like be proud of themselves and shit like that. I just think people want to do that. <laughs> you know, don't you like I do. And so it's like, well, I'm going to figure out how to do that. And then I'm going to share it to people. I'm going to build a little community. Our, our homies are in there. Like, don't mess with my people. These are us. This is us. You stay over there if you don't like us, you know. Leave us alone. Let us be happy little crazy people, okay? And I, that's why my message matters, because it's going to help people live a life that they love living and have stuff that they want to have and do stuff that they want to do. And if you don't like that message, well, there's a way to, you know, go somewhere else or whatever, right? You know how to do it. You know how you got here, whatever, <laughs> you know? I don't want to be, you know, uh, uh, serious, like, guy. Like, that's not, I'm not, I don't, that shit makes me want to go to sleep. You know what I mean? I'm like, that shit's boring. Like, take it easy, you know? Like, it's okay. To me, life is about having fun, teaching people, you know, teach a person how to fish. You know what I mean? Like, not literally fishing, but you know what I'm saying? Like, come here, learn stuff, teach somebody else so that when you die, somebody else has that information. Don't just take everything with you when you die, for God's sakes, you know? You've been around so long, you've learned all this stuff, and you want to just keep it to yourself? <laughs> like, you freaking prick, you know? <laughs> That's what I think about myself. I'm like, man, what, you learned all this shit, you did all this stuff, and you just don't want to tell nobody about it? You just want to, what do you, you know? What kind of freaking guy? So... That's, that's, to me, that's what it is. That's the big deep purpose behind what I'm doing. You know? So you got to find harmony be be between like what, what you love and your voice. And the only way that that comes out is if you just speak it out. I mean, there's going to be so many people that are going to talk smack on me. There's going to be so many people, and I already have. I literally think it's hilarious to me. Because, <laughs> you know, we all put our pants on the same way and shit. Like, it's, you know, I, I just find it's hilarious to me. You know, it's funny. And they're just helping me get engagement. You don't have to take it to heart. You don't have to believe them. Right? <laughs> you know? Like, who said that they're right? You know what I mean? So, I hope this helped you a little bit with your message. I want to open up for questions. It's going to get better. The pictures are going to change. This is going to be a work in progress, and I really love this, okay? I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun doing this with you. I know it went a little over, but I want to open up for like 15 minutes or so. Um, I want you to ask questions if you want to ask questions. If you don't have any questions, then um, I guess we'll get out of here. You know what I mean? And then I'll see you back tomorrow. We're going to talk about content tomorrow, like I said in the beginning here, uh, and then... I don't I think Wednesday is the the machine and then you know you you probably remember. Um you'll be able to see it inside of the community here soon. That's what I'll be working on when we get off of here. Okay. So and if you want to join my I didn't have the slide in there to to pitch you on my Make Once Pro, but if you want to join me in my private community, 
then you can join me over there where we get all kinds of gangster on learning this stuff even deeper. We go further with it. You know, you get to speak to me more. You get to actually work with me more one on one over there. You get to work with other people that are making a lot of money. It's like the price of a pair of Nikes each month, right? It's 140 bucks a month, 49 bucks a month. If you want to cancel, you can cancel at any time. If you want to stay, great. Okay. I'd love to have you. Um, but that's it. Okay. It's very simple. And I help you make money using the internet. Okay. I'm done. You can ask questions. I'm not going to talk again. So if you don't ask questions, I'll be like three, two, one, and then we'll leave. Okay. Any questions? Just unmute yourself and talk. Don't be Mike, scared. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Would you have, even if nobody showed up, because then you have content on YouTube? Yeah, of course. It wouldn't have been as good because I wouldn't have had like this, you know, something happens when there's somebody else there. Like you feel like you have to like show up even more. Okay. So, but yeah, I would have done this anyway. I would have just went through my slides and then next week, maybe one person would have showed up and then it would have been better. <laughs> and then maybe two, you know, but I was lucky today. I had all four of you here. So it was really great. But if I, if nobody would have showed up, I would have just went through my slides. Okay. How do I make the slides? What do you use? I just use Keynote. But you Keynote. can use Google Slides. I use Keynote because it just comes with Mac. You can use PowerPoint. Anything that's got slideshows in it. I think Canva does it too. I use Miro, M-I-R-O. I use that one too. Anything, I'll use all of them. When it, It's just like whichever one I jump into. But typically, because I'm a Mac user, Apple user, um, I just use Keynote because it's simple. Okay. Thank you for all of this. Yeah, you're welcome. I hope it helped. Anybody else? Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? I do. All right. I'm using my professional mic, so I'm like I mean, trying to figure it all good. out. Thank you. I was wondering, so when you were talking about doing all of these workshops and mastering your message and the ones that you're going to have coming up over each day, you're going to be using what to drive them here um so each each day like right now i'm working on a video like here's my goal each week i want to produce one good youtube video and i just like youtube and i have a dream of someday being a superstar on youtube just because i think it'd be fun you know um and it's like youtube pays you money if, if people watch your stuff uh, I personally love watching YouTube all the time. Like I love, that's where I learn stuff. That's where I go for stuff. That's where I connect with things. So I was like, well, I want to be on YouTube and I like making videos and I want to make good videos. I want videos that when I make them, people go, that was good. <laughs> you know, and they ask questions or they like share it and they're like, it was helpful. And I'm going to suck for a long time because it's not easy to make videos, not good ones. But I've made thousands of videos, literally. And so I'm like, well, your videos kind of suck. And so you need to make them better. <laughs> so I've been learning how to make them even better and better and better. And I'm just going to practice making them better. And I think that in each of those videos, if towards somewhere in the video, I'm always like sharing about this thing that I'm doing, where I'm doing live workshops each day in my free community, that people will start going over there. And when they come to the free community, they'll go in and they'll see on the calendar that I have these live workshops that, that they can attend. And so instead of building an email list like everybody says you need to do, I'm going to build a community instead. I'm not going to have landing pages. I'm just going to have my community. And people can join my free community and they can connect with me in there. And if they want to join my private community, my pro community, then they can join me over there. Um, but I'm going to use content on tick, And then my YouTube videos, I'm going to chop up into shorts. And I might make some shorts that are just shorts. And I'm also going to make some short form content that I can stick on all the other platforms. And then I'm going to try to distribute my one YouTube video that I'm going to work hard all week trying to make. Um, and I'm going to put that on all the platforms that I can. 
And I'm going to find a video editor at some point because I know there's people out there better than me at it. But for right now, I'm going to edit it. And uh, I'm going to, good, bad, or ugly, I'm going to stick it out there, right? Um, and then that's my goal, to drive people to these. That makes sense. And that's really good because I think when anybody goes to search for how to do something, YouTube is the number one place to go. So yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I mean... It, to me, it just seems like so much fun, like creating a cool video each week focused on something that I love and then letting people know that there's a community around it and then letting mm -hmm. them know if, that if they want to deep dive, that there's something they can, you know, for the price of a pair of Nikes each month, they can join me in a pro community, you know, and I mean, it just seems like a, so much fun to me. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And so this is going to be what you're putting into the school as well, as far as your message. Is there yeah, so, going to be static posts as well, or how do you... Yeah, so when I get done with this, I'm going to export it, upload it to YouTube. I'm going to make a cool thumbnail for it, and then I'm going to stick it on there, and I'm going to make a playlist for each one of these workshops. So there'll be like a message playlist, you know, whatever. And then these are going to go in there, and they'll start showing up on my YouTube channel. And then I'm going to have like that one good, like thought through, like scripted or something. I don't know. I don't know how to do YouTube videos like Mr. Beast or anything, but I'm going to try to do a good video. I just want to make a good video. And I'm willing to like look like a moron in the process. I don't really care. Um, I just want to do it. I've been wanting to do it and I want to do it. So I'm just going to do it. And so there'll be that one good video that comes out hopefully each week. And then hopefully I can work up to two a week. Right. Um, and then I'm going to just take the very best of those things and make them little pieces. And then I'm always just going to be driving everybody to my free community because I want them to get in there. I want them to join these workshops and I want them to find out if they want to hang out with me more. And hopefully I can provide enough value that they want to, and they, they get their friends to come over and like, we can be a big happy family over there learning this stuff, get rich, doing what we love, using the internet. And have fun. You know, a place that it's safe for you to come over and be, you know, yourself. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. I think people like one of the it. things um one of the things that I'm looking at when I'm looking at school is uh I know that Sam was planning on making something that's not like other social media where people are addicted to it. Mm. And so what I'm seeing is that there's not very many people addicted to using school yet, unless you have your own school. Um, do you have any thoughts or ideas on how to really get people more engaged and coming back to the app when they're not used to it? Well, I think the more I talk about it, people will check it out more. And then I think, you know, uploading these replays into the classroom, people are going to come to the classroom and be able to look at the past recordings and they'll probably find value in it. So they'll want to like, it's kind of like when you go to a restaurant and it's good food, you're like, we should go back there. Like I found this little Mexican restaurant down the street. They make that awesome, like authentic carne asada burrito. And like, I've eaten like 10 of them since I found the place. So it's like, um, you know, it's just like that to me. It's like, if it, if it's good food, they'll come back. And I think um, it encourages you to make a good burrito, you know, so that people want to come back if they like burritos. You know, that's the way I look at this. I don't think it's anything more than that. I think people overthink the crap out of all this. I know that this last like two weeks, unintentionally working on this hair salon and stuff like that. It has like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but uh, I just knew that I didn't feel quite like myself all the way. And I felt like I was making things harder by like trying to make it all these things. And I thought like, why not just, it's a hundred, it's, it's the, it's the cost of a pair of Nikes to hang out in my premium community and everything that I love 
and everything that I know the most about, I'm just going to share. And hopefully it helps people. And I just want to get, you know, my first little goal is I want to get a thousand people that pay 149 a month. Cause that makes me a millionaire and it makes, it gives me a lot of money <laughs> so I can buy a lot of cool stuff and I can invest back in my community and make better videos, buy better editors, help people more. Um, I can save money. I have recurring revenue and that's about as far as I think about it. And then I'm like, well, and then people will use school because I'm using school as a tool and that's, you, you also earn uh, money doing that, 39 a month. And I'm like, if a thousand people were paying me 39 a month and 149 a month, that's $188,000 a month. That's a lot of freaking money, a lot more than I need. And that's only a thousand people. So I'd have the money thing squashed. I would be able to invest in like really cool, like live things that we could do, like live events that would help people more. I can buy better help. I can get better coaches myself and equipment so I can become better and get my message out there better. Um, I can do more fun things for people. I can give away bigger prizes. I can give away more stuff. I can help people better. I can also have a really nice car. Um, <laughs> you know, like shit like that. Like, I'm not going to lie about shit. Like, I'm not going to act like that stuff isn't stuff that I think about. You know, like that was one thing that kind of changed. I was like, you know what? Like... I'm just going to I'm just going to be completely real. I'm not going to worry about some like systems and stuff. I'm just going to play the game the way it should be played. You produce content. That's all we really do all day is create content. I'm going to create content, I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to make it solve problems because I'm going to like put out content that solves problems. I'll be like, "Hey, you know, do you have this problem?" <laughs> and then like I'm going to solve that for people. And then they'll be like, "I like that guy's burrito." You know, and they're going to come back to my burrito shop and like, I'm going to get good at cooking burritos. They're going to get good at eating burritos and we're all going to be a happy family about it. You know what I mean? I just want people to have fun, be themselves. I want to show people that you don't have to worry about all these silly things. You can just be yourself and people will come along. That makes sense. And I think you've already said this before, but by you doing this message Monday thing, you're going to narrow your message down even more because you're talking about it more. And so that's probably what you would tell people when they're, they've gone through your entire workshop about understanding your message. Now they just need to go out there and they need to start talking about their message so that they can really get it. Yeah. More. I mean, that's fine. I just thought about like, what are the core things that need to happen in this whole process of like making money online. And so that's where I, I came up with the workshops. And I thought, you know, each week, if I just focus on one topic each week and just try to get the message better, because I don't think people will keep coming back to the message workshop unless they want more on the message. And so you're going to get new people all the time if you're talking about it. And I just want to ride this, you know, I want to give it this whole full year in this style to see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then I'll change it. But I've got enough money to like test it and I've got enough like energy to test it. And I feel like if you keep switching things all the time, you, you don't really get a good output from it. So I'm like, what are the core principles here? What are the, what are the, you know, first principles of making money online? Like, teaching people with your advice, helping people on, you know, like making money online, teaching people with courses and communities and, and, you know, giving your advice out. And once I got the core principles, then I was like, well, let's just talk about those in depth, you know? And instead of like talking about how I know this stuff, why not just do live workshops and, and, and do this stuff that way people can decide, you know, if they want to hang out with me more or not. And, you know, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to appeal to everybody. That's okay. But the people that do, then that's awesome. And I want to help those people. So, and we've had, you know, 
we've had a lot of people have success already. And so that indicate that gives me feedback that it does work. You know, it's worked for me. And then when I taught what I did to other people and it worked for them, I was like, okay, well, we might be onto something here, you know? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, one thing I that really I like felt- how this is sustainable too, because I think that the other version was a little bit more, um, draining for people too. You yeah. Know? Like that was one thing that really motivated me with this whole thing. Like the first thing was like my grandpa, when he was still here, like he'd always ask me like what I do and I'd try to explain it to him. And he like never knew what I did, you know, <laughs> which, you know, he's my grandpa. Like he's a farmer, you know, he does, he's not an internet guy, but I thought, you know, my, my friends as parents and like, all the people around me, they were always like, dude, how, how do you always like, like whenever we call you, if you, if we ask you to come, you can just like come over or you can just like show up. Like that must be nice having that schedule. And I'm like, yeah, it is exactly what I wanted to be able to just at a drop of a hat, do whatever the hell I wanted. That was the whole goal. And I was like, but I didn't want to do it because I was like jipping somebody or like, you know, getting one on them or like doing crappy stuff. I wanted it to be because I did cool stuff. Like I helped people. Right. And then I was like, but this is so hard and everybody makes this thing like so serious and like, Oh, ooh, uh, blah, blah. and I'm like, dude, I'm just, I'm over that. And I was like, I just want people to know that they can be themselves and if they if they speak out, we have this beautiful internet stuff, and we have these beautiful simple devices that we can use, you know, that can help us put our voice out there and record things and do this stuff. And I'm like, I just want to show people how to use these basic tools, share their basic message, and that people will connect with them, you know, and and that they can help other people with this thing that they like. And they can just have fun. And I didn't want to go live every day on TikTok. I wanted to go live in my own little place here because I feel like it's more focused and it was going to be more beneficial. And so I just wanted to do that. And I've told people go live every day because it does work. And I'll still go live a little bit, but I thought, why not just do it maybe like once a week and like build anticipation up to it instead of just... It's like, can you imagine somebody like trying to make an awesome movie every day? Like we wouldn't have, there's, you can't make an awesome movie every day. It takes a long time to make a good movie, but you also have to like, in the beginning, if you're brand new, you have to put out a lot of crap. You have to shoot a lot of shots that don't even hit the basket. You have to shoot, you have to try a lot to get that familiarity with it. And so it's like, it's kind of a weird thing because people are like, well, I don't want to go live every day. I'm like, you're not going live every day because that's the way you have to do it. It's just a good way to practice. It's a good way to get out of your shell. It's a good way to get like impromptu, right on the spot questions that you have to figure out how to answer. And that makes you better. Or you don't have to do it that way. You know, it's just like, but you can turn on a live audience instantly on, on TikTok or whatever. But I just felt weird doing it. And then I felt my emotions changing so rapidly. And I was like, this is not, this doesn't feel like me. So I was like, you know what? Stop. And so I was like, I'll just make my own little live. I'll make little live workshops. And that seemed like more fun to me. I'm like, I would rather just go to some dude's live workshop. People go to events. I'm like, I'll put up events every day and they can come to that. I'm spending the same time. It's not like I'm, I mean, my whole process is like four hours or five hours a day. Like today I'll be five hours because I have my pro call, the make once pro call tonight at six. But on but on days that I don't have that, it's a four hour day. And I can make a million dollars a year doing this from my computer. Like what the hell? Like that's so badass. There's nothing not badass about that. If you're our type of people, not everybody teaches online. Not everybody cares about talking on a computer online and teaching people shit. They need to go do something else. They can start an orchard or maybe they can start a, a landscaping business, you know, whatever you're into. I just happen to like this, you know? Yeah. And I think that this uh, is a good time for a lot of people to learn how to do this too, because I know with the whole, and I think it's silly. I don't know that what I actually want to say as far as the whole banning of TikTok, but if you have people already in a habit of coming to your 
cl- your school and your classrooms to join your workshops, then you don't have to worry about if your business is going to disappear just because some political bullcrap happens, you know? Yeah, no, I get that. And for me, I don't care what happens. If they, if, if YouTube explodes, if, if everything just goes away and we have to go back to like paper and pen, I'll just be pinning up, I'll be writing little stories on paper and pinning it up on all the little trees out here. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I don't care. If I have to go back to eating top ramen because like everything broke, you know, then I'll get that top ramen recipe going again, you know, like I don't really care. All I care about is like learning cool stuff that I like and helping other people that want to learn that stuff, hopefully help them learn it better and faster and easier. That's, that's really all I care about. Cause that's a really fun process to me. And I feel like that it feels right. Like the whole like study, practice, teach, you know, like learn how to fish, then teach somebody else how to fish so that they can feed themselves for a lifetime instead of just giving them a fish. Like that whole thing feels really, really like good to me. And it, this is the 2024 version of that. And I have a better reach because we can be online. But I don't even like think, I don't watch the news. I get like the morning brew and like, I just skim through it real fast. And then like, so I have some idea of what the hell's going on, <laughs> you know? And then like, that's it. And then from there, I'm just like digging into stuff that I'm curious about. And I'm like taking notes and I'm like, this would be cool. You know, I bet my old self would like this, <laughs> but then I'm like, I want to make a video. That's cool. That's like a little goal of mine. Like I want to have one of the, I want to have a cool video. You know, like I want to make a, a, it's like art, right? But it's like helpful art. And well, I mean, all art is helpful, but like, you know what I'm saying? And then I want to just have a little system that, that produces money every day because I need money. And I want to get money because I deserve it. And because like people want to give it to me because I helped them. And that's all I really care about. And I'll put it on any platform I can. And I just like video because it's easy for me. But some people are better at writing, and that works. Um, and I like video because you can turn it into everything. It can become writing. It can become audio. It can become pictures. So it does like all, it's all that stuff. make once part, you know. You, yeah, you, know, yeah, you make yeah. the video it's once, like, yeah, and then you can like use that. the transcript. And, yeah. You know, and I was like, it was weird. I went through like all these little transitions. I was like, I started like my brand, like I started looking like all the school colors and I was like, no, nah, that's pretty stupid. And then I was like, that doesn't feel right. It felt weird, you know? And then I was like, I just like red, you know, RGB, red, green, blue. Cause like, if you're in art, like those are the colors that you can use to make a lot of other colors. <laughs> and then it's like what we see, you know? And I was like, I like the whole spectrum and light and all this stuff. And I was like, so I'll just do RGB because then I can be all the colors. <laughs> and then like, I was like, um, I'm just going to like not worry about what every guru talks about out there. I'm just going to go off of what I am doing and see how it works and see, you know, maybe, maybe people will like it, you know, but, and, and it'll feel good to me. And I like that, you know? And so and I think it's going to be helpful because I'm, my goal is to make it concise and, and good. But I just don't want to, I don't want to feel like I'm forcing anything. I don't want to feel like I'm trying to be something else or try to meet this expectation. I just want to do the best I can. And I want to love my people. I think that's going to be the most helpful because a lot of people are like, wasn't the most searched term last year authentic like authenticity or something like that i think it was that's what they're they're looking for that and then there's a lot of people i know from just a sales and marketing side of things like you can get so burned out trying to be that sales person and show up and get that energy that's not really you so I think it's really nice that you're switching into this other side that is going to be more helpful for people that didn't ever really connect with that either. Like people that wanted to provide value online, but they just could not connect with a 
salesy feel. Yeah. I mean, people need to know how to sell because it's like how you get money. And it, I just want to change the terminology for a lot of these things. It's been called sales for too long. It's been called marketing for too long. Like all marketing is, is educating people about how your thingy helps them solve the problem. And then all sales is, is just helping somebody make a decision. You're asking them questions about their life that pertain to what it is that you're doing. And that helps them decide. And then I want to build a really great product. I want something that is concise. I want something that is easy to understand. I want something that is like paint by numbers and just, it cuts through all the baloney. And like, I just want it to be like, this is what you do. And this is how I do it. That's it. And then I want to get really, really focused on that. Like so good at that, that people are like, I got to do this. Like, this is perfect. And that's what I want to do. I want it to be easy. I want it to be simple. I want it to be like fun. And I want it to be an enjoyable experience so that they can like actually make money doing what they love using the internet, talking about the stuff they love with the people they love talking to and not trip out about a bunch of stuff because there's no reason to. Just be good at what you're doing and do it and not worry about anything else. There's systems that you have to have in place. You know, you have to get leads or members, whatever you want to call it, new people that are interested. Like you have to each day get new members in your freak. The way I'm thinking about it, I'm like, why am I calling this a list? Uh, get on the list, please. Next on the list. Like, I don't want people to feel like they're on a list at Freddy's waiting for their hamburger. You know, like I want somebody to be like, I'm in a community of people that are like me. So I love the community thing. So I'm like, what? let's just create a free community. But what if the internet explodes and you don't have your email list and everything falls apart? Well, I guess I'm fucked. Or hopefully I'm doing a good enough job that they want to find me somewhere. That they're like looking around. Where the fuck? Where's Mike at? He's our home dog. He's our guy trying to figure this shit out. And they want to find me and be around me, not because I tricked him into a list with a lead magnet. I'd rather just put out stuff that's great, and they're like, dude, this dude's dude. This dude's cool. Like, I, he's very helpful. Like, I want to be around him. He's my friend. <laughs> and, and so, like, if you have a community, you have to get people that are interested in your thing. It's not just because they like you. Like, it's because I'm helping you make money using the internet, selling your advice, selling your information. So I get them there. And then I'm like, instead of like talking about how I can do it, how about just do it with them? How about just have live workshops with them? And if they want more help, I've got another play, another room that you can come into that you have to pay to get into, kind of like a, a, a club, you know, like you got to pay to get into some places. You got to pay to go to a concert, you know, if you want to see, you know, uh, if you want to see, see, look at it. I can't even think of her name. <laughs> Who's the who, who's the girl that's going crazy right now? Jesus, how can I not know Taylor this? Taylor right Swift. Now? Taylor Swift. Wow. See, you're worried about being important. <laughs> yeah. Taylor Swift. If you want to see Taylor Swift, if you want to, you can listen to her on the internet. You can listen to her on on your radio, on your phone, and all that stuff. But if you want to be with her in person and hang out with her, you got to go buy her concert ticket. And she, and you'll get a premium experience, and you'll you'll you know. And that's how I look at this. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't, if I have a thousand people paying me 149 a month, that's a freaking astronomical shitload of money. Like, I don't care where you're from or what billionaire hears this and is like, oh, I can't even pay for my car with that. I'm like, I don't, that is not relatable. Like, that is so much money to the, to anybody. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, what? why are we talking about to make a billion dollars, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? If you have a thousand people paying you 50 bucks a month, you will be shitting kittens for the rest of your life. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I hear these people talking about all these. I'm like, just slow down and be you and have fun. Have mm -hmm. fun and enjoy yourself. Be helpful and useful. Charge money for your time because you're working hard. I'm, I don't get this time back. 
So mm -hmm. I don't think people buy Nikes and shoes every month. Some people buy it every week. They'll buy new shoes. I'm like, I'm going to charge the price of a pair of Nikes. And if you want to hang out with me for a pair of Nikes, I will show up and be more valuable than a pair of Nikes each month. And, and, and I'm like, and if you don't like me, then, you know, I'm sorry or whatever. There's a lot of people. So that's it. I think that's good because there's a lot of people right now, like with the whole inflation and with like everything going on as far as income, there's a lot of people that are wanting to learn just to make it past survival mode. And they're not even thinking about billions. They're thinking like, how can I just make it and survive? Yeah. I mean, I don't even think about inflation. Like that stuff just makes me want to puke. Like when I hear all mm -hmm. that shit, it just makes me want to puke. Like I don't even care about it. I don't want people to be hurting. I don't want people to be broke. I don't care about that shit. All I care about, and I'm not talking about, I'm glad you said this. Like all I care about is what can I do today to help somebody else get closer to their goal. Like all I care about is like, it doesn't even, the price is like, I just, I like being able to say a pair of Nikes. Cause then it's like, oh yeah. Or like, you know, 150 bucks. I'm like, I think, I think my times were, I think a month of hanging out with me is worth at least 150 bucks. And it's like, you know, I just, I, I don't, I want people to know that it's not about any of that stuff. I want them to focus on the stuff that's like, I don't want them to think about inflation or all this horse crap. It's like, I would charge anywhere from like 50 to a couple hundred bucks a month, whatever you want to charge. And just really focus on, on creating a really, really good product that serves a purpose for a particular problem out there and be so good at solving it and helping people with it that it's just a no brainer. And things will just naturally occur after that. Like people will naturally want to work closer with you so you can charge more if you want. But why are we talking about like that stuff when it's just like, you know, pick a number that people can pay. Everybody can pay 149. Everybody. If they were sick from something and they needed to buy the medicine to get like not sick from it and it was $149, they'd figure it out. And I just think 149 bucks. It's just, I like it. It's a pair of shoes. It's a pair of like Nikes. And so I'm like, that's the way I like it. That's what I'm going to do. And there's no rhyme or reason behind it besides I just like that. And I'm just going to be so good at this that people want to do it. And I think that's more what people need to focus on is like being really, 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 really focused on building a great, great, great product that they're really good at doing, that they love doing, that they're excited about doing. And they're just really caring about the other person so much because that I feel like is missing. I really do. I really do. Like, I feel like it's so like, just like, what do I do to make money? What do I do? And it's like, you're missing the whole point. The only reason anybody wants to pay you is because you help them, but you can't help them if all you're worried about is yourself. And like, you know, like just help somebody and you'll do great and you'll have fun. There's plenty of money out there. There's bazillions of dollars out there. It'll never stop. And there's always somebody that needs your help. But I, I'll never forget what Naval Ravikant said. Like, I'll never forget that. People sell because they don't know how to market and people market because they don't know how to build a product. And so I'm going to focus on building a great product and I'm going to focus on my community. And I think everything else is going to work out. And I want to show other people how I'm doing that. And I don't want them to be worried about things that are just, I don't know, crazy news and conflicted things. It's just like learn the system and get, get working on it each day. Be useful. That's a good point. I know you were supposed to, you were wanting to get out after 15 minutes, but we got going. So. Yeah. I mean, this is like my marketing for the day. I'm going to take this and chop it up into stuff. 
And then I'm going to continue to, I got to do tomorrow's. But I'm really excited about sharing the process that I'm doing with everybody because I feel like it's a simple process that's doable. And people are like, well, I don't want to go live every day. And I'm like, well, you're going to have to do something. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to do something. Yeah, but silly Sally Sue said that you can automate everything and just lay in bed and pump money into your pockets. I'm like, that's boring. And that is dumb. Like, like it's if you like I'm I do I can't wait to get up to do this shit. It's so fun to me. I'm not saying it's fun to everybody, but I'm like, you're gonna have to do something anyway. Why not design an event for people to come to? I'm I'm gonna be the I'm Taylor Swift of uh, online business. You know, like this is my little concert and my little event. She does concerts every day all over the world, traveling all over the place. I'm sure I can go live in my community and help them every day, <laughs> and it and it works like in it works so great because it turns into everything that I need to like get more people to know that I'm out here doing this so that I can help them if they want help with this. Do you see how it all kind of makes sense? Yeah, it makes sense. If I to me, it feels pretty good. I mean, does it feel good to you? Like you know, like. Did did this feel good today? Oh yeah, definitely. And I really like everything that you're planning on doing. I think that it's like I said, I like the sustainability part of it and I like the more owning the live and having it in your own community. In fact, I think it's gonna be easier for you to have the recording versus dealing with <laughs> TikTok live recordings, you know? And um YouTube being the one place where people search for answers because they're more visual or auditory learners. Um, it's going to help with having a longer lifespan on those videos too. You know, you'll rank higher. So yeah, I, I it's really simple. like all of it. It's everything that I'm doing has a purpose and it's like simple and it's helpful. It's real. It's out here. And I don't have to be somebody else. I don't have to be – because that does, that's not the point of this. The point of this today was to help you find your message and to – you know, I wanted to share what I'm doing so that you can get a, take advantage of this so that you can do it. And if that means that I just have one new person per day that I helped, then freaking rock and roll. Like, that's badass. You know? And it's like, wh why, you know – and, and I know that it's, I know it's the answer. I can feel it inside of my soul. Like, yeah, they'll they'll spread the information too, because one person will tell others, and then you'll also still have the content. So. Yeah, and these are like super great questions because they help me like figure things out. So, and I hope it just helps other people. I think this stuff is helpful. I think this is helpful stuff. If I heard this when I was growing in the early days of this, this would have helped me. Yeah. Yeah, so, this would have saved me a year's worth of work. <laughs> it, I, I mean, that's the, the goal. <laughs> I've wasted so much time. And, and it's, I guess it's maybe something I had to go through to get here. I but agree. I'm not mad about it. I just... Mm -hmm. If I can save somebody else a few years, if I can save somebody else a lot of time and struggle and like, then man, it was worth it. This is what it is. I love this. Like I get emotional right now thinking about it because <laughs> it's like this stuff matters. Yeah. I think a lot of people don't know how to be authentic or even what it means, especially in marketing. And then you're told all different strategies that don't really fit you. It's not a shoe that fits. And then you're further and further away from being authentic. And this is very helpful because I lost my whole message along the way trying to do all that stuff that I needed to do. But doing all that stuff is what I learned and they're the tools I need 
except I lost the message. <laughs> I had all the tools, but I lost the message. This was helpful. Reminded me why I came on this space in the first place. Thank you for making the time. Thank you this. for making the time. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it is, it's like you, I used to always say it's so hard to be yourself and like, that's weird that it, like something has happened out there that it is hard to be yourself or that you're ashamed of being yourself. What the heck? Like, oh my gosh. Like what, why can't you do what you want to do? Who, why? You know, like, why can't you talk about what you want to talk about? You know? Like, I have a purpose behind this. I want to help people make money using the internet. That's the whole purpose behind this. Because that's, when I say making money using the internet, what that really means in 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 the, the depths of it is you have enough money to live the way you want to live. And you have security. And you can explore Earth. And you can do it in a more protected, more, you need money, period. I don't think I have to go into this. Number two, I want to be happy while I'm alive with my money doing things. And I want to enjoy helping other people. Like I want other people to be like, God, thank God Mike did that because that helped me. Not because I need a badge or a trophy or I need somebody telling me I'm somebody cool. It's because I tried to like help somebody and I did. And that was like, what else am I going to do? sit around and do nothing like you think about it it's like what are you going to do you can only eat so many so much pie you can only like wouldn't it be better if you were eating that pie knowing that you helped 10 other people eat pie like that just feels correct you know and so it's like now we've got this internet thing that makes it so easy and all we have to do is have enough courage to like Go help someone. I'm like, this is like, yeah, am I, I dreaming? This is amazing. Yeah, I think a lot of times when we're looking at going online, especially TikTok, there might be a little fear of how you could get on the wrong side of TikTok or deal with those people. And you like, you've overcome that where it's like, don't even care what they think. But this also doing it this way helps overcome that fear for some people that might not want to put themselves in that kind of position. So this is an alternative to that. Um, not saying that TikTok lives are bad or anything like if you can do it, go do it. But I definitely think that this is a safer space too, because it's your own, like they're, you're not going into their home. They're coming into your home kind of feel. Yeah. It just didn't feel it didn't feel, I couldn't be my, it didn't feel right. Like something didn't feel right. I didn't, I'm not, uh, like you said, it's not something that it's wrong or right over. I, I've made a lot of money off of TikTok lives and stuff like that. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. It just, this feels more quality to me. And it just feels like a better place to try to, help people for some reason and so i'm gonna try it you know i'm not out there trying to say that i know everything or that i'm right i just know that the actions that i'm taking are leading to the results that i aspire to get which is like helping other people learn this stuff so that they can you know make money using their computer and their phones and stuff and you know i i'm making money to to have the life that I want and it just keeps getting better and it, and this challenges me and I'm, I'm tired of like trying to be like, Hey, hoo ha. Like, I just, I don't, I feel weird. And I'm like, this doesn't, I don't think, I don't, I don't know. Like, I just want to be like, guys, look what I did here. I did this. I wiggled the pole like this and this and it, they bit it <laughs> and I caught it and now we're eating it. You know, like I, that's, that's what it is to me. And it's like, I'm just going to try every day. And then if I figure out a little hack or unlock and a system that I can help you get it the same 
result, then that's what I want to do. You know? So. Mike, I'm going to get to gymnastics. I just want to tell you this is much better customer service. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. Listen, I'm, I'm excited. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad you, I hope this, you know, I'm glad this helped and I believe in you Very and much. like, I want to do this stuff. I'm excited for you and I'm going to share with you what's happening and just, we're all going to find out what happens here, <laughs> but I'm excited. And, you know, I just, I just love my community. And so you guys let me know what's going on and how I can be better. And, and I will. Thank you guys. It was nice hearing your voice, Jenna. Nice Bye, hearing guys. yours too. Bye. All right. We'll see you guys.